Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprenzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. Free pick in the NBA on this report. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. If you're new to these videos, all you got to do is click on that link below the video. You can get yourself set up for a free $60 account and then use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Five, one, and one for us yesterday with premium and free picks combined. I appreciate those of you who jumped on board. Uh, we cashed the five star in the NBA. Close one, but we got there uh, with the Clippers. We went 101 in baseball. We uh, also cashed in the NHL and then, of course, uh, won both of our plays with free picks in the NBA and Major League Baseball. So, a nice day overall to kick off the new week. And what we have going on Tuesday, well, we've got just about every sport. I've got NHL, I've got NBA, another five star play after last night's win. It's an underdog today. Uh, I've also got got uh, Major League Baseball, three plays going on Tuesday. Uh, I've got two sides and a total on Tuesday after last night's winning card. And the big play of the bunch is WNBA. I've got a seven star. We cashed a seven star last week in the WNBA. We've got one going on Tuesday. And we go into Tuesday uh, aiming to extend our winning streak in the WNBA to seven in a row. Uh, we're six and zero with our last six. We're up $2,700 over that time frame. Eight and one with our last nine WNBA plays and now going all the way back to when we started that 46 and 26 run last year we are now hitting 62 percent of our last 92 WNBA plays. So again, NBA, baseball, NHL, five plays among those three sports, and the lead plays the seven star if you want to jump on board in the WNBA. All right, let's get to our free pick for Tuesday. And not unlike yesterday's free pick on Toronto, I think we have another mismatch here from start to finish, although Toronto made it interesting at the end of the third quarter, going from a 30-point lead to a nine-point lead, and then of course got back on track and poured in 134 points in the 24-point win. Uh, but anyway, the Bucks are laying 12 and a half over the Magic, and we like the Bucks to get the job done here. Uh, they've won seven of the last eight meetings, uh, and I think it's a situation where because they come in healthy, you've got a, a problem with Orlando. They cannot lay claim to being healthy. They've got a lot of guys who make a difference in minutes played. A lot of guys who are important uh, to their rotation on the floor who are either a little bit banged up or going to be missing in this particular game. It's tough enough to handle the Greek freak and the Milwaukee Bucks when that team's focused and you don't have, you know, and you have all your players. And when you don't have all your players, and if you are playing with bumps and bruises, it makes it just that much tougher. I, I don't care too much about about what happened in the bubble. I know the Magic did some good things in the bubble. I look at the course of the season, and they're ninth in defensive efficiency, uh, but they're you know not good on offense. I mean, they were bottom third this season in offensive efficiency, and those numbers, defense and offense, they were a little bit healthier, obviously, throughout a big course of the season, and now they're going to go up against the Milwaukee Bucks team, who's going to be focused. And, and the thing about the Bucks, they're one of three teams that fit that criteria of being in the top 10 in both offensive and defensive efficiency. And going back to what is it, 2009, there's only been one NBA championship team uh, that hasn't been both. So I, I, I like Milwaukee in this particular game. They're, they're fourth on offense. They're first in defense when it comes to efficacy. And uh, I think it's a situation here where even if they do what Toronto did, have a little bit of a letdown, they end up pouring it on when it counts the most, and they cover that 12.5 point spread. So free pick today is the Milwaukee Bucks. That's the early game in Tuesday's NBA. Don't forget to get all my plays over at DocSports.com, uh, all the premium picks, including that seven-star WNBA play. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.